What up Kayla's crew and welcome to Kayla's Eat and Greet. So today I wanted to start off my vlog with, I'm just in the kitchen here as always, and I still have not tried out my Hamilton Beach uh, panini press, my panini, ma panini maker I got on Amazon. So I've been kind of waiting for you guys to do that until I could film. Um, I just didn't want to try it out without you, weirdly. So I think I'm going to give it a shot today. I'm like, I do have some cheese. I think it's like some aged cheddar in the fridge. I have some leftover chicken. So I'm thinking about making like a grilled chicken cheese or a chicken grilled cheese sandwich. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that together. I am heating up, like preheating the panini press so that it's ready to go by the time I have the sandwich ready. Yeah, so I do have some aged cheese here. This is the Irish cheddar aged eight months, or sorry, nine months. And my bread is frozen. I mean, that's fine, right? I'm not gonna, thaw it out or try to like toast it before I put it in the panini maker so this might make the test a little bit worse but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna open up my cheese we get some nice chunks off of here. Got our cheese. Now weirdly I'm gonna throw on some mayo onto the outside of each piece of bread. This will ensure I think that it doesn't stick but also that it toasts up nice and it's not just Toasted bread is actually like, I don't know, you guys know what I mean, right? Like instead of butter, I'm just using mayo. So flip this one over, throw on some shredded chicken. This is like breast meat and thigh meat and leg meat. This is from the chicken I made on my last video, the whole chicken. It's only been two days since I made that, so this isn't old, don't worry. Actually, I'll pick this all up. I want to put cheese on both sides. I'm sorry, I forgot I wanted to do that. Okay, <laughs> now we can put the rest of the cheddar on top. Don't have to be perfect here. I'm gonna be pressing it in the panini. It's gonna get all melty, hopefully. Now the bread is frozen, but hey, there we go. Let's throw it in the panini. Now this thing just turns on as soon as you plug it in, so um, there was no need. I guess there's no setting of like low, medium, high. We'll just see how that goes. I honestly don't know if there's a lock to this thing, but I'm just gonna hold it. Ooh. Take a look underneath. Oh, it does not stick at all. That's awesome. Hell yeah. We'll plate this up and cut into it and see if it's all melty. No cheese pull or anything, but I think it's because it's like aged cheese and it's not like too terribly much of it, but that looks really, really good. I look at that color on the outside. Woo! Let's give it a shot. All right, here we have our chicken panini. Chicken and cheese. Let's give it a try. Ooh. Yeah, it's nice and hot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Bread is perfectly toasted. Um, it was frozen, so it was great that it actually toasted all the way through. Um, the chicken's warmed all the way through the middle. The only thing I would say is like, I would like more cheese on this, <laughs> um, but I absolutely love it. Mm. There's some cheese in that bite. Mm. Oh, by the way, if you do buy this, I burnt myself twice. Um, <laughs> I probably cut that part out, but I burnt these two fingers, or sorry, these three fingers right away by touching the top of it. And then I burnt my thumb really bad by touching like the side, weirdly. I don't know why it got hot, but yeah, all of it gets hot except for the handle on the very front. So be careful, guys. Don't be like me. <sighs> um, other than that, I love it. guys I'm here with video of the week and this week I just couldn't really think of what video I wanted to post there wasn't a specific video per se that stood out to me um you know just that I had watched but I have to get a like big shout out to Mr. Ballin because I've been watching his videos for I don't know maybe like a year now honestly he hasn't been doing it that for that long on YouTube he kind of took off really quickly on YouTube but yeah I found him I think my brother found him like about a year ago um Mr. Ballin basically he tells like spooky stories um, true crime stuff, 
Um, basically, how he how he says it is the strange, dark, and mysterious. So all of his stories are like true stories, or based on the truth, or like real accountings of things. Um, he has in the past done a lot of like missing person stuff. Um, a lot of where they're they're found later, or like sometimes they're not. Um, but like really strange circumstances around that stuff. But like there's also like some paranormal stuff he tells. There's some just like real like murderer shit that he tells. So I really love his storytelling. Like just, I mean, he could tell any story and make it super interesting. Like the way he tells stories, he's explains everything in great detail, but isn't too like redundant or like not boring, you know, with like the stupid details that you don't need, but like he gives enough details to paint a picture. I don't know. Anyway, let me just play a little bit of this. Um, this is his last video. I couldn't really pick a specific one that was like, oh, you got to see this one. Please just look up any Mr. Volland video. Um, but yeah, I'll just this is his most recent one that was po posted like, I don't know, like a couple weeks ago, maybe. And so these two women who had never experienced anything like this before in their lives had nearly identical experiences, totally independent of each other, just a couple of minutes apart in the exact same space. And so George and Sis, they walk right up alongside Diane and the seated silent captain. And George immediately crouched down to get a good look at this guy's face. Because again, this captain is just looking straight ahead with a hat on. And so no one had really looked at him yet. And so George kneels down and he sees this guy's face for the first time. And he falls over and goes, oh my God, that's Bob Loft. The same Bob Loft who had died on flight 401, the captain of flight 401. Yeah, so that's just a little bit of this story to kind of give you a little bit of the juicy parts of it, but not actually like give away anything. Um, it's, uh, yeah, pretty, this one's just like more paranormal, paranormal one. Um, but there are just so many, what, whatever kind of like thing you're interested in, I'm sure he's told a story about it. And yeah, um, check him out. I will link his uh, channel and this video down in the description box if you ever want to check out this video or any of his other ones. So yeah, thanks for checking out the video of the week. I am back and I'm actually headed to the pet store. I got to get some cat food. Also, I kind of wanted to go to Whole Foods. Um, so I figured I'd bring my camera with me and take you guys along. Um, I obviously won't take you in the pet store. That's boring. But uh, what I wanted to do was get some different cheeses and maybe hopefully some like whole wheat pasta or something. Um, I want to get some like shells or macaroni noodles because I want to finally do a homemade mac and cheese recipe that I'm okay with eating on this new journey that I'm on. So um, yeah, let's go check out Whole Foods. I haven't been there in forever. I think the closest one's like half hour away, um, but we'll check out what they have, specifically the cheeses and the pastas. Oh man, this place actually has basil. <laughs> that is huge. Nowhere near me has basil. The heirloom tomatoes are running low. They have a nice selection of vegan cheeses, but today we're going real cheese. So we're in the whole grain pasta section. Well, whole grain and chickpea and all that stuff. So look what I found. Low gluten index, ancient grain, whole wheat, luma, lumachoni which kind of looks like little shells. I was looking for shells, this is perfect. I think I'm gonna grab this up. Let's check the ingredients though. Oh, there they are, okay. Organic low gluten index whole durum wheat. That's awesome. Um, if you look, it'll be, so carbohydrates are like 39, fiber 3.6, and then protein 6.4. That's what you wanna look for, the high fiber, high protein. This makes this like a low glycemic index bad boy. Coming to you from the cheese section, my favorite place in the whole world. <laughs> Woo. So I'm looking for a Havarti cheese and like a good melty cheese. So let's see what I find. This one looks cool. It looks like it might melt well. It's a little, got a little softness to it. Fontina Fonto. All right. I can't find Pavardi, but I found something that called my name. St. Angel Triple Cream Brie. It's from Jer Def Noise. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but it's like a, yeah, it's like a cream brie, and it's just a little portion, so it's a little cheaper. Pizza, other food. So I just left Whole Foods Market. Um, I put everything in the trunk, but I showed you everything I got. I got the pasta, 
I got two kinds of cheese. So two bags of pasta, two kinds of cheese. I think that's all I got. Um, but I looked around there quite a bit and honestly the prices aren't too bad for the stuff that I typically get. They're actually like maybe a little bit better. So I'm glad I went here. I mean, it's far away. I don't think I can see myself shopping here all the time, but you know, it's, it's fun every now and then to check out Whole Foods, see what they got. Um, cause a lot of times they'll have stuff that I've been looking for that I've heard of and I can't find anywhere else. So, and plus, yeah, the prices were great. So I'm going to get going home. It's like just a rainy day out. It was super busy in there. So I didn't film a ton, but, um, I want to get home and my siblings coming over. We're going to watch the new game of Thrones. I know it's not called game of Thrones. What is it? House of the dragon. Um, I don't know if I'm super into it yet. I mean, what, what are we like three, four episodes in? but I'm still giving it a chance. So we all watch that together every week. So I'm gonna do that and see you guys soon. Hey guys, so it's time for question of the week. Um, we haven't done this in a long time, but I figured we'd do it today. Sorry, it is very dark in here. This is my living room. I don't typically haul my whole setup out here. So I just got the light from my computer screen. I'm like, that works. <laughs> um, dude, honestly, the last time you guys saw me, what was it, like Tuesday or something? Today is Saturday. I've been busy. So <laughs> um, I was toying with the idea of like, oh, maybe I'll skip a vlog again this week and do something else. But I'm like, dude, you guys have not had a vlog for me in like three weeks. So <laughs> um, plus I already started it and I'm not going to like put that stuff on a different week because then it's like, I, f I don't know. I feel like it's not as up to date. I don't know. So I'm like, I'm gonna still do this. Um, I do a plan of doing something tomorrow. Um, I think we're gonna go to this antique mall that's like by my house that I've never seen. I've never like been there. Um, I've drove, driven past it a couple times and I'm like, that looks really interesting. Um, it looks like maybe some like local people go there and maybe sell some like goods, but also it's an antique store. So it's half like market, half antique store. I don't know. Um, but I thought we'd do the question of the week now. Well, I'm still up. It's actually, oh, it's 1 a.m. Yeah, we uh, play D&D &D today. Um, so I'm still all like fucking hyped from that. <laughs> I, I just opened to a random page. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. What would be a handy addition to have built into a wristwatch? I mean, don't they already do that with like Apple watches? They have like the, or smart watches. They have like the, um, pulse, you know, your pulse, like tracking your miles and stuff. I don't know. That's a dumb question. We're going to do another one. Another page. If you were a vacation destination, which one would you be and why? If I was a vacation, okay. I'll be right back guys. I'm gonna find a good question. <laughs> this random bullshit is not working. This book is okay, but like some of the questions are dumb. All right, I'll be right back. Ooh, I kind of like this question. Um, it The question is, what's the best thing about getting older? And I feel like so many people complain about getting older, you know, there's the aches and pains, there's, you know, the parts of your body that stop working the same way, there's hormonal things, there's, I don't know, like appearance things, I guess, that people aren't happy about. But, you know, who talks about, like, what the good things are about getting older? Uh, my mom was always super, super excited every time she got a year older, like, every time she had a birthday. It wasn't so much about, like, the birthday, like, or celebrating the birthday, it was more about just, like, oh, I'm a year older, like, she, it's the only person I know they got excited about that. Um, so that's kind of cool. And I got, I mean, I'm not that old, so I don't know. Like, I'm not like an old person, but I do feel that, you know, I guess I'm not a kid anymore, <laughs> even though I still feel like a kid sometimes. I don't know. Um, for me, I guess, like, the thing about getting older that is the best is... I don't know, like the, the older you get, the more you learn about yourself and the people that you love, like especially yourself. Like I, I have gone through periods in my life where I haven't done this, but I, I typically am always working on myself. I'm always thinking about how I can be better, how I can do better, how I can feel better, um, how I can just be a better person, how I can be a better friend, all this stuff. And I don't know, I think like, I mean, just to think about, about myself, you know, 10 years ago, yeah, I was still working on stuff but I was so not where I'm at now, I guess. I don't know. I'm not saying I was like dumb or like I was, you know, missing something. I just, you just like grow, you learn and you grow as you age. And, um, I think it's fucking cool. <laughs> like, I mean, at least for me, like that's something that I see in aging is that like, 
not, I wouldn't say like wisdom yet for me. Like I'm definitely not very wise, but I definitely know myself more than I ever have. Um, and I am still learning stuff about myself, which is kind of crazy. It's like, I, I'm me. I'm the only person who is me, but, um, I am still learning about myself. And there's a lot of things that you, you are, and you become, you know, as you grow up, like you do childhood and stuff, like things happen to you and you just like, there are parts of you that are like locked away that you just, it's not really in your, your conscious mind. It's in your subconscious or it's buried away or you just don't notice. Cause it's just how you've always been or whatever. It's like, I don't know. So like, I feel like learning about yourself is a really fucking rewarding um, part of getting older. So let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite part of aging? I not favorite, but like, just what do you think is the best part of getting older? Um, shit. Yeah. My mom was always like, so excited. Even like when she turned 40, she's like, I don't know why everyone like gets all upset when they turn 40. And then when she turned 50, same thing, you know, she had, um, uh, oh yeah. Like when she turned 59 and that was the last age she was able to turn, um, she, cause she did pass away before her 60th birthday, but when she turned 59, she had the, the, it was like a little saying she had, she was like 59 born in 59. Cause she was born in 1959. And I feel like every year she had some like saying, or maybe not, maybe I'm just making that up in my mind. You know how like sometimes memory can like, it just like builds upon itself and you're not really remembering the thing you're remembering your memory of it, which that's another thing about like time passing, I guess aging, but like who knows if my memories are even real anymore at this point, you know? Um, anyway, yeah. What do you guys think about that question? Um, it's the question of the week. So that means you guys get to put your answers in the comments down below. So please do that guys. If you're into commenting on videos, um, that is something to comment. I want to read everyone's uh, responses to that because I mean, honestly, like there are probably a million great things about getting older that I don't even know about yet. <laughs> um, I haven't figured it out, but let me know what you think down in the comments, and uh, yeah, thanks guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow for a little trip to the antique store. What up guys? I am now, it is Sunday, um, I just watched like the morning football game with my brother. I had no idea there was one at like fucking 9, nine o'clock this morning, um, but it was his team, the Vikings, so we watched that. And now it's around 12.30, I'm going to go um, to the antique market, or the antique mall, like I told you guys. I did look up some pictures online, it does look like there's some like more like... <sighs> handcrafted things and like local businesses and stuff so it's not just antiques but let's check it out you know um can't really hurt and it looks like a cool place it looks pretty big um it doesn't look too busy right now on google maps so um i don't really like it when places are crazy busy then i don't like filming yeah it's a beautiful day out it's 65 degrees sunny breezy um i am wearing this hat because I, my hair is just out of control i wanted to shave it off the other day I don't know, you guys probably noticed i got a haircut i just did it myself but i don't know what to do with the top like i can't cut the top with scissors because i just i can't do that in the mirror it's like everything's backwards and i can't do it um but i didn't want to like buzz it because then it's too short on top so i left it the same length on top and then completely buzz the sides so it's just like all kind of looks bowl cutty i don't know um so yeah i'm kind of wearing like a winter hat right now but um just because of the hair situation but my sibling did say they would cut my hair and they're amazing at it they cut their partner's hair and she her hair always looks amazing um and her hair is kind of like similar style to mine so eh. Just, it's a short hairstyle. It's not similar to mine. It's just, it's like a shorter hairstyle. It's really cool though. So I might take them up, up on that. Um, they are coming over tomorrow to help me do like a little craft project. So I might show you guys that after it's done. Um, but not in this vlog. This will be next week because today's Sunday. I got to get this up and posted. Anyway, enough blabber. Um, let's get over to the antique mall, guys.
this gorgeous box. Like seriously, um, a lot of the things I found here are kind of pricey. Like, I don't know what I could keep in here, but I want it. And I looked at the price. $22.99, that's so cheap. I'm gonna get it. So that was it guys. Well, that wasn't it because the store went on. Um, I showed you as much as I could. I actually got lost for a second. This place is huge. There's different like sections. And I thought it was cool at first because the first section had like street names. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can remember where something is if I want to buy it. But then there was a whole other like side of the store that had like avenues instead of streets. I'm like, okay, cool. And then there was this other section that I have no idea what it was. It was just a lot more antiques, but like I was like, how do I get back to the main part of the store to leave? <laughs> um, because, like, basically the reason I left, I was going to keep walking around because it was kind of cool. I mean, there's a lot of stuff for me to film in there, too. Like, everything I filmed, I kind of found cool or, like, I was just like, oh, I should show you some more of the antique stuff. Um, but, like, two things. My pants kept falling down the entire time I was in there. I haven't gotten a belt yet, and it's, like, hard to find a belt my size. And um, it was just annoying having to pull them up every five seconds. But then also I realized I have to poop, so I need to get going. I guess they, they probably have a bathroom there, but I don't, eh, let's just go at home. Oh, but that was cool. I didn't end up buying anything. I saw a couple elephants I really wanted. Those were kind of expensive, but that box that I liked, that I showed you guys, that was like, oh, I can't remember what it was now, 22 bucks. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. I could put like my um, D and D like little men, the little guys in there. I could put my dice in there. Um, or I could just put like little cute little like letters or stuff that I've had through the past. Like I have little like memory boxes. I could put them all into one. Um, I don't know. It was really cute, but I didn't want to like carry it up there. I didn't know like how it worked. If you're supposed to like get someone and have them like bring it, because everything's like labeled with like a serial number, and I'm like I don't know. Oh, <laughs> but that was really cool. I'm definitely gonna come back because that store is huge. I could not look at all of it today. Again, I do have to go to the bathroom, but um, I wanted to end the vlog here because um, when I get home, I'm gonna poop. I'm first of all gonna poop, but then I'm gonna edit this while I watch some football. I'm gonna get this out for you guys tomorrow and that'll be it for my week, really. That's all I'm really doing today. So I have been playing a lot of uh, Dragon Age Origins, which is a really like a lot older game, like a role-playing RPG, like sort of, well, that's the same thing. I don't know why I said that. Uh, RPG like video game, but I have it on my PC, so I've been able to play it because I used to play it on Bud's PC and he's just always on that playing and I don't like to use his computer. So I downloaded it myself for free, by the way, with Xbox uh, Game Pass, you can get stuff on your PC. So I've been playing like hours of that every day. So yeah, when I said I'm busy earlier, I am busy, but then like my free time is spent doing that. So I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I get into like certain obsessions and I just like can't stop. But, oh man, so this week was really fun. I'm sorry I didn't have a recipe for you guys this week. I have been kind of broke, so um, I've been doing a lot of like simple things, like just a lot of sandwiches, like turkey sandwiches, a lot of um, homemade tomato soups, um, tuna, that kind of stuff. So nothing exciting this week. And also I don't, I kind of ran out of time if I did want to do a recipe, which I did get paid Friday, so I could go get some stuff, but like, I just don't have time. I don't want to rush it for you guys. Um, we'll do something cool next week, but at least we did a question of the week. At least we did a video of the week, product review earlier on. So, whew. yeah, I'm going to get going. Sorry if there's like background noise from the road. I'm right in the parking lot right by the road, 
but you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys haven't done so, can you please subscribe down below? I would really appreciate it. Um, I do things, uh, kind of like involve food but sometimes not like this but I do you know mukbangs I do vlogs I do food reviews like recipes um what I eat in a days cook with me whatever um so a lot of it is food related uh, I am currently trying to not lose weight but lower my blood sugar and my triglyceride count from my blood work so um so there will be some of that like not diet talk I'm not really into diets and I don't really follow a specific diet but like I will be trying to eat like mindfully and whole foods like the less processed the better that kind of thing so if you're interested in that kind of content please subscribe sorry about that big spiel um but just want to let you guys know what i do i do post once a week every monday and if you guys could give this video a thumbs up as well i would really appreciate that and leave me a comment below answer the question of the week or just let me know what's going on in your life uh let me know what you would have bought in that store that you saw because there's a lot of fall stuff a lot of halloween stuff a lot of antiques a lot of just random cool shit that like local companies make i guess it was mostly it was mostly a craft market, but like, yeah, maybe it was half and half. I might not have seen all of the antiques, but yeah, half crafts, half antiques. Pretty cool. Kind of weird that uh, VHS tapes and CDs are now antiques. I'm old. <laughs> I guess I'm older than I thought from the question of the week earlier. Like, I guess I'm, I'm I was like, I'm not old. Guess I am. I mean, fuck, I'm an antique. <laughs> so, all right, guys, take care. Um, have a great week, and I will see you uh, next time on Kayla Cheek and Greet. Peace out.